lecture on archaeological digging by Professor Roden Crump, the distinguished archaeologist. And so the bone structure tells us something about the shape of these prehistoric animals. So much then for the bone of the greater woolly man. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, um, by um, studying the dwelling places of primitive man, we are able to form a picture of how he lived. How he lived, yes. And we know from the crude drawings on the walls of his cave that he frequently exposed himself. <laughs> uh, exposed himself to all manner of dangers in his search for food and the other. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the other significant feature of his existence was the presence of ice glaciers in the vicinity, which undoubtedly caused the piles. <laughs> the, pi the, the piles of debris to move down and cover up his dwelling place. <laughs> One of which we will now show you on film. Are you ready? Lights. Here we show you the excavation of a typical Stone Age dwelling. The lady uncovering the site is Miss Amelia Fosdyke, who learned her skillful techniques under Professor Schwindelhofer of Utrecht. Notice the typical upland scenery. Neolithic man always preferred those areas, as the lower regions were often foresty and inclined to be swampy. The two large mounds in the foreground are of especial interest. It was these which first drew our attention to the site. And now we see the site partially uncovered. Notice the small indentation in the middle. The small indentation was probably caused by a sharpened pole which was rammed in to hold up the roof. The normal method of beginning a Stone Age erection. And now we see Miss Fosdyke about to uncover something of enormous interest. Oh! <laughs> Here, that's not Miss Fosdyke. They've sent the wrong film. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off immediately, I say. I will not have this kind of thing shown in a lecture that I'm in charge of. Turn it off, do you understand? I will not have to be on in my lecture hall. I do not want them to go off immediately. Turn it off. I won't have this kind of thing. Oh, no. I, no, 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 I forbid. Turn it off immediately. I will not have it shown. Thank goodness. This is monstrous. They sent the wrong film. I do apologize. But what can I do? Show it again. Show it again. I did enjoy your lecture last night. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. I thought it was smashing. Oh. <laughs> morning, Crump. I beg your... Oh, good morning, Dean. Have you got a moment? Is it about the lecture? That's not what I wanted to talk to you about. You're off to Templeton, I understand. That's right. One of the most important finds in the West, according to preliminary reports. Is it, sir? Yes. It's a field next to a caravan site. Apparently, they were digging a new cesspool when they found what appears to be a Roman encampment. Now, what I want to talk to you about is your assistant. Assistant? I don't want an assistant. I've never had an assistant before. What do I want an assistant for? In the interests of cultural relations. None of my relations were cultured. My in old grandmother... In the interests of cultural relations. You will have to take with you Professor Vushka. Good morning. So sorry. Oh, that's all right. Don't mention it. Crump, I'd like you to meet Professor Anna Vushka. How are you doing? Well, Professor Vushka is the person I was telling you about. What about my caravan? Oh, never mind about that. You can hire another one when you get down there. Professor Vushka is an expert on Roman remains. Yes, I've been examining Hadrian's walls. He only had one. One what? Wall. Hadrian's wall. He had one wall. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but my English not yet perfected. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, well, I'm glad you two look like hitting it off. Hitting it off? What does hitting it off mean? It means like having it off, no? <clears throat> no, it means establishing a friendly relationship. Oh. 
That's nice, yes. Well, look after everything, will you, Crump? Yes, of course, Dean. I'll send you a party of students to help with the dig. So, good luck, both of you. Thank you, Dean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and no worry, Professor Crump and I will soon be having it off. Hitting it off! Forty p, and I'll save you a bit of the other. Thank you. Hello, Els. Hello, love. Give us a bit of that for me, old man. Give that to your husband, and you're in for a night of romance. Oh! <laughs> Can I do it in the oven? Do it where you like. Is your kitchen? Oh! <laughs> Ninety p, and the next Ooh. lovely lady, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, where are you going? Going on one of those hill farms. Oh! What about Fred? He's taking the caravan. He's off fishing. What? On his own? No. With Ernie Bragg. Oh, Bragg up the electrical shop. Yes, that's right. Well, what about Ernie's wife? She's coming with me. Hey, talking of Ernie, when's he coming to see about that fridge? What do you mean, when's he coming? He came when you nipped out for a pint. He's in there. Oh, no! I've shut the door on him! <laughs> Ernie! Are you all right? <laughs> Oh, my God! Surely asleep? I've got the fridge working. You have them, you? I, 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 I knew, I knew, knew it was working when I, I, I felt it falling off. Felt what falling off? Me, 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 Darling, show me what you can do. Come on. Out with it. That. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> Hello, darling. How do you do? Oh, what a beauty. He's a miner. Ah. I thought it was the milkman. Mummy got hold of him last week. Who, oh, the milkman? The miner bird. What's he doing here, then? Well, he, he's coming with us. Hang on a minute. Your mother's not coming on holiday with us, is she? What could I say? She asked. But where's she going to sleep? Well, uh, I thought we could rent one of those extension tent things that go on the side. <laughs> oh, I think he wants to come inside the caravan. Look, if he's coming with us, he's got to get used to staying outside. Well, suppose it rains. We'll buy him an umbrella. We should have bought a bigger caravan. Should have bought a smaller dog. We'll leave him in the kennels. You know very well he couldn't bear to be parted from us. He might like it in the kennels. He might get in with a nice crowd of dogs and love it. If he doesn't come, I don't go. Ah! I'm not leaving him. Now, you behave yourself. Do you hear me? Yes, dear. Because if you get up to anything, I'll find out. Yes, dear. Don't worry, love. I will keep an eye on him. Yes, and who's going to keep an eye on you? Bye-bye. Bye, love. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> we must be mad letting them two go off together. They're only going fishing. Depends what they're trying to catch. Well, I shouldn't worry, dear. They haven't got much in the way of bait. Ta-da, lovely. Ta-da. You remember, you take care of your rods. <laughs> Those, are you? Well, I can't leave them at home, dear. They'll die. Good. Did you say something? I said good. We've almost finished packing. I'll put that on the table, will you? <laughs> Bloody hell! Arthur, there is no need for that. Oh, bother me. Bless my soul. I do believe I nearly said a rude word. 
Which isn't surprising, because I got a cactus bite right up my... Arthur! Who do we see? I don't know. Look at that! Ooh. <laughs> Makes you wish you were single, doesn't it? <laughs> as far as this holiday is concerned, Ernie, we is single. And don't you forget it. Oh. Good day. Uh, how do you do, sir? How's the weather been? Oh, excellent. Oh, nice vans, these. Not bad. How long? About 14 feet. No, 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 no. I mean, how long are you staying? Depends. On what? Whether we get any. <laughs> so, how long are we staying? Well, uh, like he says, it depends. On what? How long we can stick it. <laughs> yes, well, you can stick it up. Over there, by the hedge. And... We're shifting round the place to build a sewer. We're moving it regardless of expense. The shift it is remains. How disgusting! Who are they? Archaeologists. Archaeologists? That's what it said on the side of the van. Well, they all sound drunk to me. So they're drunken archaeologists. <laughs> Arthur! I won't have swearing! <laughs> Let's see what's about. I'm just checking my tackle. Now, catch it. Oh. No need to check mine. Oh, girls. That's what I need. Bit of exercise. <laughs> Used to be a uh, left back for murder, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, love. I'll get it. about me balls burning don't stand so close to the fire you mean the students got here before us yes were you held up yes before we were starting we're having quick bang together oh really mm. uh, she ran into my caravan what for a quick go uh... no no it was a collision she collided with it now it's a complete write-off mm, that's nasty so we are needing accommodation Yes, well, you see, I managed to get the students fixed up all right. Bit of a squeeze, mind you. Well, that won't hurt them. What about us? And that is the problem. Those were the only two vans I had for rent. It's OK, it's OK. We're squeezing in somehow. We shall do nothing of the sort, not with that lot. Oh, it's not worrying me. When I am on expedition to Gobi Desert, I am sharing tents with five men, two goats and one camel. Five men, two goats and a camel? Da. But weren't you, uh... Oh, yes, I was. But since this time, I'm always coming prepared. Oh, what have you got? I'll show you. Stink remover. Hello, darling. Hold your noise. Get stuffed. Ah. What did you say? Show us your knickers. Mummy has got a surprise coming with you, hasn't she, mate? Who's the cheeky boy, then? You are. Get stuffed. Darling. I do hope he's not annoying you. No, he's all right. That's a lot. Now hop it. A buns. Uh, this couple want somewhere to uh, sleep. You know, they'd like to rent your caravan. Da. We have look. Oh, you need look no further, madam. This way, please. Do you mind uh, wiping your feet? Here we are. 
all ready to move into. Just wants a bit of a sweep out. I've got all the brooms and things are in the cupboard here, and you'll find them. Ah, well, that's... Who is living here? I was. How much rent are you asking? Well, I'm, I'm only a simple man, you see. I, I don't understand figures. 30 quid a week. <gasps> 30 pounds? You must be insane. <gasps> all right, then, all right. 25, take it or leave it. Well, leave it. We're taking 15 quids a week. 20. Now, look here. The only reason we want this dilapidated mobile hovel is for somewhere oh. to do our operations. Operations? What kind of operations? Somewhere to examine our artefacts. He will be getting them out, and I shall be examining them and then sticking labels on them. You, you do what you like. Still 20 quid a week. 15 is last offer, da? 15 for my lovely home. Da. Right. I'm not leaving the bed in. Which end you sleeping? Oh, you can't be serious. I mean, look at it. I soon am scrubbing out. No, it's not just that. We can't share a caravan. Oh, you thinking you're getting crumpet, no? Yes. Oh, certainly not. Where on earth did you learn that expression? Crumpet. Crumpet is uh, squash it. Is in dictionary. Crumpet is a uh, uh, squash it <gasps> together. Oh, I see. You mean cramped. Is what I say. Crumpet. 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 Crump, Chris. Well, you can be cramped here on your own. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to the pub. I'll find a room there. Maybe you're getting crumpet in pub also. It's his caravans only. Don't worry. I'll soon chat him up. How do you do, ladies? I wonder, <laughs> could you help us? Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? Well, could we camp here tonight? I'm very sorry, girls. It's caravans only. Oh, but you see, my friends hurt her leg. Has she? Whereabouts? Well, it, it's all over. I think I must have pulled a muscle. Oh, well, perhaps it needs massaging. Huh? Oh, I'm sure it does, only not while I'm on my bike. <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Well, perhaps we could uh, find a quiet little spot around here somewhere. Oh, I think of one. <laughs> what, to, to massage it? Yeah, no, 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 of course not. To put your tent up. Oh, thanks, ever so much. <laughs> not at all. I can be any help at all. I'm only too pleased to put it up for you. I'm sure we can manage. Bye. I've got a Wickham's Fancy, a Black Nat, a March Brown, and a Ginger Quill. Oh, it's warm, isn't it? Yes. Could do some good with these two. Oh, I could do some good with them too. Oh, look at that. Yes, they are beautiful, aren't they? We could be all right there. Oh, oh yes, I, I suppose we could. Well, what's the matter? Don't you fancy them? Well, it's not that, but I can't, Fred. What do you mean you can't? Well, I've I've got a disability. What sort of disability? I, I, I'd rather not tell you. Oh, Ernest. You can tell Frederick. I talk in my sleep. It is hard all. I can't see how that's going to stop you having... Talking to sleep? You were missus, you mean? That's what she meant when she said she'd find out. Well, that's lovely, that is. You could have told me before. You're going to ruin my bloody holiday, you are. Well, it needn't stop you. Of course it will. Everything I do, you tell your missus. She'll nip around tell my missus. Well, we could still go fishing. I did not come here to go fishing. I came here to go f finding other things to do. Mm. Would you like to borrow me ginger quill? Sandra? This stove's not working properly. Well, we dropped it, didn't we? Let's have a look. <sighs> if you fancy them that much, why don't you go outside and chat them up? What, with you around? I might not talk in my sleep. Hmm. Sorry, 
Sorry to bother you. Oh, it's the oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes? Uh, well, we can't seem to get our stove working. Yeah. I wondered whether you could look at it for us. Uh, yes. Well, there's nothing missing. No, I can see that. Only we're dying for it. Pardon? A cup of tea. Oh, oh, yes, so are we. I, w would you like to join us? Oh, we'd love to. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Carol! Would you like to sit down? Thanks. <laughs> Pleasure. Uh... Hello. Hello. <clears throat> what, what do we need? I will clear the table. Here, watch my flies. I beg your pardon. Oh. Here, wait. Maybe you're needing. Whoops. Here, careful. You could do me an injury. Yes, easily. So you're not finding room in Papa? Eh? Uh, no, I rang all round, but they're full up. Hmm. So you are sleeping in Caravan, no? I suppose we could divide it up or something. Okay, if you're wishing. But you are going to help me clean up Caravan, no? Oh, no, I've got to go and examine the excavations. Thank you. Oh, oh. There's some people with an enormous dog parked right outside. I oh, know. Well, really, they might have had some consideration. They're right on top of us. You can't expect to feel to yourself, you know. All right, Mummy, don't fuss. Arthur can move the awning. I am not moving the awning. Arthur, don't be awkward. I am not being awkward. Oh, for heaven's sake, don't argue over me. It's all very well for you Arthur, to say that. Arthur, you know I cannot stand squabbling. <laughs> oh, my God, now I've got one of my headaches. Oh, aren't you a last friend? Get stuck. What did you say to me? Nothing. It was him. Oh, how dare you speak to Mummy like that? It was him, I tell you. Go on, say it again. How do you do? He won't say it now. For the very good reason he didn't say it in the first place. He may be your husband, Linda, but Arthur never has been and never will be a gentleman. I think it might be better if you slept out here. Don't worry. I wouldn't come in there if you paid me. He's just like your father. He's coarse. And I can't stand coarse men. That's the reason I left him. Well, I'm not leaving Arthur. You just wait. He'll soon stop shaving and start walking around looking like a tramp. Oh, Mummy, please. It's bird nesting. Where exactly were these Roman remains fired? In the new cesspit. Oh. That's the old sister! Oh, 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 oh. I'm in the pit! Here! Don't pollute it! Scrabble no working. Borrowing from comrades. Yes? Ah, it's nice. Hmm? It's very nice, no? In this caravan, you're not getting much crumpet, no? Pardon? Crumpet. Yes, that's what I thought you said. You see, I am keeping a, how you say, dirty caravan. Keeping a what? You see, I am having birds in my caravan. You want to come see? Uh, no, thank you. Not just now. Therefore, I'm going around camp looking for scrubbers. Really? Hmm. Well, I suppose we ought to start getting our dinner. Oh, uh, why, why don't you have dinner with us? Oh, we couldn't. Why not? We've got plenty, haven't we? Oh, yes, we've got uh, roast chicken, roast potatoes, sausages, Brussels sprouts, and... Um... Stuffing. Unless, of course, you don't fancy it. Huh? Oh, no, we quite like it. Providing it's uh, well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall we do it for them? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do what? Cook the dinner. Well, yeah, if you want to. Come on, then. Oh! Here, yeah, that's my Wickham's fancy. Well, it was sticking in me. You're lucky it wasn't his ginger quill. Excuse me, 
Excuse me, you have scrubbers in caravan? No, uh, certainly not. <laughs> I don't know. Must be around here somewhere. Get stuff. Show us your knickers. Oh, Ollie. Ollie! Come on, where are you? Ollie! Ah, oh, push off. Ah. Ollie! Ah! Look, look, do that voice. Do the voice. You know, the no. one he likes. Go on, do the voice. Ollie, where are you? Not the cross voice. The daddy voice. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Rollins. I was finding your clothing in the caravan. You were falling into something nasty, no? Yeah, you can't come in here. You're a woman. Yes, I know. So what? Bath is for men only? Yes! Mr. Rollins, this is discrimination. In my country, bath is also for women. Yes, but not in here. You have to go next door. Of course. I'm not coming in with you, Mr. <sighs> Rollins. I am going next door. But, uh, miss, 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 miss. Bushka. Bushka, yes, yeah, Miss Bushka. In, in England, men and women bath separately. Oh, of course. In my country also. Except when there is shortage of hot water. Now, now look, Miss... Oh, Miss... Bushka. Yes, Miss Bushka. Now you will please take care of my clothing, hang them up. Well, I... I oh. Well, I mean, I, oh, well, I mean, Miss Bush. Oh, uh, uh, they're not mine. <laughs> they're hers. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh Miss Jane. <laughs> Well, then let's go over and find him. Oh, look, I don't know where he is. We should never have brought him. Well, and he's gone off into the woods. Shall I go and have a look? Yeah, I'll have him in a shower. So creased and wrinkled. <laughs> well, you, you've both got one the same. <laughs> See if you can get a bottle of Sauterne. It's only a local pub, lovely. Probably end up with Scrumpy. <laughs> hey! No. What about your disability, then? Ah, oh, I thought about that. If I keep calling Carol Charlie, I'll be all right. What good will that do? Well, if I talk in my sleep, it won't sound so bad. The wife will think I'm talking about a fella. Could sound a bloody sight worse. Eh? Give a kiss. Oh, shut up. I think we'll move on in the morning. Oh, yes. He's 
caravan sites for all they like. They're all married couples. There's never any fellas. <laughs> well, apart from those two. Blimey, not after them, are you? Are you kidding? You can tell they're married. Still, we are getting a dinner for nothing. Don't kid yourself. We aren't getting it for nothing. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. We're flipping. We've got to cook it. Oh. Hey, where's the fat gold? Mind your... <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? A dirty great dog's got it. Can't be helped. No, it was our fault. Hey, look, Kurt, we were just going out for a meal. Oh, yes. <laughs> why not come with us? All right. Why not? We're going to get some clothes on. Well, why bother? <laughs> Holly! Holly! Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Show us your knickers. <laughs> oh. Major! Oh. oh, Major. There's a man in those bushes. Oh, really? Yes, he says something. Oh, he did, did he? Yes. What did he say? Well, it was... rude. Oh, like that, is it? Well, don't worry. I'll not tolerate people like that on my camp. I'll have him packed and away from here the moment I catch him. <clears throat> oh, what a beauty. You're around here somewhere, mate. I can hear you. Get stuffed. And that's how you're going to end up. Around here, anyway. Look, I've got better things to do than look for dogs, mate. There's a, there's a couple of quid in it for you if you find him. Two pounds. Leave it to me, sir. I'll find him. What does he look like? Ow! Turned into black bangers. What are they? We had to go out dinner in oven. Charming. Just like being married to them. Oh no, that smells. Well, if this is the new cesspit, why is all the earth over there? Oh, perhaps they're using for filling in old holes. Oh yes, I never thought of that. Mm. Uh, yeah. An interesting example of Roman tessellation. Tessellation? Is name for what they're doing, huh? It simply means various Roman pieces get laid on cement. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable for them, no? <laughs> <laughs> Professor... Uh, Bushka. Bushka. Professor Bushka, you are the Roman expert. 
Would you say this was some sort of Roman temple? No, Professor Crump, no. It's no temple. In my opinion, it's a place where Roman soldiers are coming for drinking and for a women and for... Yes, quite. I know what you mean. Hmm. What is name for a place like this in English? In English? Just a place where soldiers are coming for drinking and for women and for... Yes, yes, yes. We call the Nafi. Nafi. Ah. So this is Roman Nafi, you know? <laughs> yes. Da, da, da. And lady taking money at door is... Nafi Keeper, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> In which case, we are outside main camp on perimeter. Meaning, meaning, that main camp is buried underneath caravan site. But would they have this establishment so far away? Oh, it's not far walk from camp. Oh, it's an awful long way to walk back. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow we are poking holes all over caravan site with spikes. I don't think they'll like that at all. Oh, it's all right. We're poking early. Before others are awake. Oh, right. yes, yes. Uh, oh, 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 Professor Crump, what are you doing? Uh, eh? I, I slipped. You understand? I slipped. Is the atmosphere of Rome and Nafi affecting you, yeah. no? Is yeah, what do you mean? I mean, place where soldiers are coming for drinking and for women. I, 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 I never touch it. Never? Never. Perhaps you should try it. Certainly it. not. We have saying in Russia, Vieshka, Nyet, Vivinka. Oh, what does it mean? Never look gift bird in beak. Oh. Da. Ah. You will see him. <laughs> Time you had a shave, huh? I get all that with me. <laughs> Cheers. Here we go. I think he's hungry. Yeah. I, d I don't think he's had any dinner. I don't know about that. He's had most of ours. I wonder where that chicken went. I don't know. Come to that. Where did them birds get to? I'm not really worried. There's plenty of them where they come from. Oh, come on, enjoy yourself. We're supposed to be on holiday. I am enjoying myself. But you don't look like it. Well, I was. Till you picked them birds up. Now I can't think of anything else. You know his trouble, don't you? He's crumpet struck. I like that. So do we. It's you that's crumpet struck. I wanted to go fishing. All right, you want to go fishing, we will go fishing. And bring the rest of that plonk with you. <laughs> Good, that. <laughs> Ollie! Ollie! God help us. Seven or eight miles away. Well, I promise you a couple of quid. Yeah. Yes, that's oh, one. mine. One. Get off. Funny little chap. Two. <laughs> little lad's trying to take me money. <laughs> Mind you, I'm, uh, I'm not complaining, but I must have used a couple of quids with a Wellington boot bringing him back. Oh, Joe, give him some more. Little chap. Oh, we've got some cold loads, hasn't he? Must be healthy. Thank you, madam. Mr. Burns, I'm huh? wanting you very badly. Why? What's the matter with him? We are thinking. Perhaps you're finding something in the alluvium. Don't tell me it's blocked up again. What she means is, we've just been in that hole you dug. Have you? Well, there's a proper one over there. Oh. When you are digging hole, perhaps you're finding some artifacts, no? Arty what? You know, old Roman relics. Um, swords, brooches, helmets. Oh, 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 yes, I, I see. Well, <laughs> supposing I did. We are wanting. Ah, yes, but what I find is mine. Well, we're willing to pay you for the articles. All right, now you're talking. <laughs> I'll bring you some round in the morning. Da. Hello, darling. Show us your knickers. Come on, you want stuff in? Oh. <laughs> That's what I call a Roman artifact. <laughs> Yeah, you might knock or something. I was getting undressed. 
is luxury undressing an expedition. When I was in Gobi Desert, we did not undress for ten weeks. You didn't take your clothes off for ten weeks? Well, most of them. Oh, I see. Mm. You see, it's necessary. If not, someone's stealing them. Oh, that won't happen here, I assure you. Not for Julius Caesar. <laughs> oh, it's my barber. Not back, huh? Who cares? <laughs> Fred! Oh. Careful. You nearly tripped over that rope. Are you You've got to be more careful, Fred. You could have had. Uh, kill your young fool. I'll be one more for Francie. Me being begun, you're going as queen. I've got a friend. Hey! There's a gas stove. Uh, we do not want it, Ernest. Neither do we. I'll tell you what, I'll take it back to their tent. Good idea, Hearn. Yeah. Then there is no excuse for them to come round here, disreputating disrepu disrepu our tranquility. Admirably put, Hearn. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Who's a good Gordon? Look at who you and I talking to. Ah! <laughs> Ernest, is you all right? I've, I've dropped it. <laughs> ah, I found it. Hey, <laughs> oh. All right, Fred. I'm in bed, Professor. Are you ready? Ready for what? For turning off the light. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good night. What happened? Oh! Must be strike of lightning, no? I've been struck! Oh! Oh! I'm injured! Oh! Oh! My head is broken! Oh, no, 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 worry. I, I, I am coming soon. Oh! <sighs> Professor Krampe! Professor Krampe! <gasps> Professor Crump! No worry. I'm bandaging your bleeding head. What the hell did that then? Has been struck by strike of lightning, no? You perhaps doctors? Why? Where's it hurt? Uh, no. Must be finding doctor's man is injured. But what man? Is is professor of archaeology. Is bleeding terrible. Never mind his qualifications. Is he hurt badly? He's hurt badly, da. He's in caravan. Don't worry. I will handle it. Thank you, it's very nice, thank you. He was the Lance Corporal in the Army Medical Corps. Da, I'm going finding ambulance. Fred? Fred? How is he? Have you got a mirror? Why, we're going out? I want a mirror. Yes, I'll, I'll get one. Oh, good morning. Good night, Barry. It's me. Second opinion. Go on. Right. Have a look. He's still there. Is the glass misted over? No. He's dead. Ah! No, I'm not! I'm not! Am I? He must have been holding his breath. Oh. Oh. It's all right, lovely boy. Oh. You're in good hands. What are you? A butcher. Oh, no! 
It's all right, I knows what I'm doing. Haven't they got any real doctors? Just relax, tell me where it hurts. I'll start with your legs. Oh, oh. Ah! That hurts! Oh! Oh, it hurts all over! Oh. I suspect multiple fractions. We need splints. Oh, well, come on, don't hang about. Break the damn thing off! Oh, no! Relax! Oh, oh. Delight's broken. What'll we do? We better put a splint on that as well. Here we are, my dear. Master of you. Bless you. Oh. Ah, you're not to worry. Mm, I'm sure he's going to be perfectly all right. It's such a great pity. He was such a good colleague. And to be struck down just as we were having it off. Really? Just damned hard luck there. It happened to a friend of mine in India. <clears throat> yes, he was up in the jungle with the colonel's wife, you know. He fell off an elephant. Oh, no. Uh, having it off is not right. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, these days. Huh? <laughs> I, I suppose you... Won't want to be going back to that caravan of yours tonight, will you? Why not? Well, you know, I mean, painful associations. Um, what I mean is, um, um, what, I, what I mean is, you could sleep here if you wanted. That is most kind of you. Well, all that digging to do, haven't you? Hmm? <laughs> you want a good rest. You might want to. Thank you, but I'm already getting plenty. Yes, but I'm not. Then I must not keep you awake any longer, Major. I'm sorry, Major, but I'm not loving you. Yes, but... You see, when I love a man, I give him everything. I give it all. But I don't want it all. I just want a bit. Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh, 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 oh. Give us a kiss. Bye. 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 What are you going to do about it? When are we going to sleep tonight? Shh, not so loud. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, come in a van and we'll discuss it. Right, ladies, I'll just make yourselves comfortable. Uh, and don't worry, we'll buy a new tent. Oh, yes, and uh, new uh, bedding, new whatever else you lost. What, tonight? Oh, not tonight. Be reasonable. Tonight you just have to sleep here. All right, then. Oh, by the way, where are you two sleeping? Where do you think? Now let's take a look at his head. Uh, oh, oh, oh. All right, uh, we'll soon have you on your feet. Oh, I feel so queer. Yes, of course you do. Oh, oh, oh. Here, what are you, a vampire? It's tomato sauce. Tomato sauce? Or tomato ketchup. What's the difference? Two beer bottle. Is it? Anyway, it's not blood. Well, I don't understand. Neither do I. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with him? Well, apart from that splinter in his... Yes, well, that's quite enough, isn't it? Well, I'll attend to it in a minute. So, meanwhile, I think you owe us some sort of explanation. Uh, I do? Yeah, I mean, you come in here covered in tomato sauce and lashed up to a theodolite with a splinter in your... Oh, uh, well, I'm all confused. It's all dreadfully confusing. Well, uh, now we're alone. Uh, try and remember exactly what happened. Well... I got into bed, and Miss Vushka turned out the light. So you were in bed with a Miss Vushka? Yeah, no, I was up the other end. Uh, the other end of what? Uh, the caravan. She was up the one end, I was up the other. And then I suddenly saw a quick flash. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
Yes, I thought at first it was lightning, but then I suddenly received this violent blow to the head. And after that, I don't remember anything. Just a moment. I think I know where your splinter came from. I do, do you where? From your splint. Oh, well, well, it's dreadfully painful. Do you think you could get it out? I'll take a look at it. Yes? It's a big one, Doctor. Yes, I know. But it's only a small splinter. Ah! Ah! Hello. Hello. Good morning, Miss Mushka. Thank you. Professor Krampe, you're recovering, no? Yes, except for a very sore toe, big ah, toe. Poor Professor Krampe, but never mind. We're up nice and early and bushy tail for making holes. Yes, but you mind if I have a cup of tea first? No, first we're making holes, Professor Krampe. Dig your own out. Hello, darling. Mummy's still asleep. Thanks. How did you sleep? Rotten. Oh, so did I. I missed you. Well, you told me to sleep out here. I'm sorry. Only you made me angry. The trouble is, now Mummy's moved into the caravan, I don't know if we can. Well, that's all right. You can sleep out here with me. But it's only a single bed. There's plenty of room. Look, I'll show you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Arthur, what are you doing? I've just trodden in my breakfast. Well, I wish you'd do it more quietly. <laughs> Lovely new laid eggs. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it must be a Roman egg. Oh, dear, oh, Lord. Oh, I can't get away from myself. Ah, oh! you're hitting underground spring. It's the water main. Someone's coming! <gasps> Morning. Morning. Merely admiring the view. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't looking over there. I was looking over there. <laughs> that happens to be my wife. Oh! I must say, uh, you cooks cornflakes much better than Hernis does. Thank you. When are we going shopping? Oh, you, you mean the tent? And the rest? We've lost all our clothes and everything. I don't know how you did it. Well, I don't neither. To tell you the truth, I think it was because we had too much wine. Ah, but <laughs> What's that? It's a genuine Roman helmet. Oh, is it? Looks more like an old tin hat with a rim knocked off. Yeah, well, you're not an archaeologist, are you? Yes, well, now, look, I'm getting reports that the showers aren't working properly. Don't ask me, I'll never use them. Well, that's obvious. Well, now, uh, I'll check inside. You uh, look at the stock cotton. Damned vandals. Some damn fools turned them off. Look, turn that damn thing off! You turn it off, you wetter than I am! And that's a matter of opinion! Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, Ernest, sit down. No, I can't sit down. You see, I, I think I'm... <laughs> I don't care what you say. There are some very odd people on this site. You're making it up. I am not. 
And what about that peeping Tom? I'd like to know what he is. Uh, no sign of him, I suppose. Uh, sign of whom? My minor bird. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what we intend to do is to broadcast the fact that he's lost. Broadcast it? Yes, from our new public address system here. Ah. <laughs> Come with me. I'll show it to you. Damn it, man, that's not the colour I ordered. It's what we were given. What? I ordered leaf green. That's not leaf green. You'll have to change it. Are you finished? Just about. Well, I'm glad something's finished. We're opening this damn place on Saturday. Uh, sit down, my dear. No. Yeah, come on. We'll try it. Well, I haven't finished testing it yet. Well, that's just what I'm about to do. Got it. Good morning, Caravanners. This is Major Leap speaking. And this is one of the amenities we have installed to make your stay here more enjoyable. Try it now. Go on. I'll start again. This is Major Leap speaking. And this is one of the amenities we have installed to make your stay here more enjoyable. All the site news at regular intervals and any urgent messages. It will also enable me to keep in touch with my staff and see that they're doing their jobs properly. And now, one or two reminders of site regulation. These are made for everybody's benefit. And now, someone has deliberately ripped one off. And for those responsible for puncturing the water. A warning. A valuable talking minor bird. And that is all for the moment. Message ends. <laughs> that ought to get some results. It's aft. We are arriving on site making preliminary survey. Professor Crump and I are living in caravan together. We have been all over the site poking. Look, don't you think it would be better if I wrote the report? Who is expert on Romans, you or I? You are. Then will you please continue, Professor Krampe? First, we are finding remains of Roman paving, showing pictures of an erotic nature. One of the pictures is showing an, um, a weenus. A what? A weenus. Certainly you must know what a weenus is, no? Oh, well, it's neither one thing nor the other, really, is it? A weenus, Professor Crump, is the goddess of love. Oh, you mean a Venus. It's what I am saying, weenus. We, we, ah. we, we, yeah, yeah. Okay, next to her is standing your man who's holding his... Ah, uh, I don't know where to... You are seeing what man is holding in his hand, no? Yes. What are you calling it in English? Well, you have a very large choice, really. No, it's not. It's one short word, much to the point. Well, it's it's long weapon with bend in middle. Oh, you mean a bow? bow oh, a bow. bow, a bow and arrow. I thought you meant the chap who was firing it. In England, we call him Cupid or Eros. It's not mattering, Professor Crumb. You will continue, no? He is firing Harrow which is hitting people in arts. In what? Hitting people in arts. In no. arts. Arts. Oh, I see. There. Da. It is time for knocking it off. For what? You shouldn't have brought us all this. No, it was ever so nice of you. Still, we'll make it up to you. <laughs> oh! I wonder what they'd like. We'll soon have this up for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, we'll just pop in the caravan and get our things off. Mm. Oh. Do, you, do you reckon? It looks like it. Waste of time putting it up, then. 
I wouldn't say that, Earl. Hi! We're ready. Shut up! All right. <laughs> Where are you going? Swimming. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Forget about him. Hey? Oh, 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 I have. No, you haven't. You were brooding over that Sandra. Well, I, I was beginning to enjoy myself. Be philosophical. Plenty of time to pick up two more. Not like Sandra. If you ask me, we had a lucky escape. Yeah, that's a nice pub, yeah? It reminds me of the one we used to have. Oh, you had a pub? Yes, until my husband gave it up. Uh, oh, it's damned hard work running a pub. It was too hard for him. He got worn out just sitting there watching me do all the work. Are you...? Separated, yes. I haven't seen my husband for ten years. Careful not. No, thank you. He was enough. No. <laughs> we have another drink. No, I think I'm all right. I do too. Major. No, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, not in here. I had an idea. What about popping back to my caravan for a quick one? Yes, why not? Oh, good night, madam. Good night. Good night, Major. <laughs> major. Yeah, he's a guard, he is. He calls himself a Major. Well, isn't he, then? Uh, more like a major disaster. <laughs> yeah, he's got the caravan site down the road. He's most likely nipping back, see if it's still there. <laughs> what do you mean? Somebody might have nicked it. No, might have gone down one of them holes. <laughs> down one of what holes? Oh, the old perishing field is full of big holes. It's the underground mining workings. They reckon the Romans dug them. Well, we're up there and we haven't seen any holes. No, you're not likely to until the ground opens and down you go, one of them. <laughs> yeah, listen, he paid 2,000 quid for that bit of land. <laughs> 2,000 quid! <laughs> I do not think that is very funny. Nor me. Why are you laughing? Because I'm the one who sold it to him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's not funny. Major, I do believe you're trying to get me slosh. Uh, above, no, there's no need to. Uh, what I mean was, uh, I'm only a damned swine would try and get a girl drunk first. First? Well, if you damn wish, I'm getting a drunk after. What's. No. Oh, no. What I meant. Ah. Yes, well, I mean, would you care for a spot of music? Yes, why not? <sighs> ah, this will get you in the mood for it. <laughs> you need the mood for what? A spot of the old house, your father. <laughs> oh, this will get you going. <laughs> it certainly will. <laughs> Good night, and, and thank you for a most delightful evening. What a peculiar woman. He wants to go out. Good. Oh, close the door. It's nippy in here. And come back to bed. Well, look, somebody's got to let him in. Oh, to hell with him. Joe. Joe. He's gone into next door's tent thing. <laughs> Oh, I say, I'm most awfully sorry. He didn't half give me a turn. Well, where is he? Under there. Oh. Oh! 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 oh. We slipped up. I couldn't help it. She came in after it. I just tried to grab hold of it. Oh, yes. What's the matter? 
Arthur, I'd like you to sleep in the annex. Why? Because from now on, Arthur is sleeping in here. Oh, all right, but I thought he was happy out there. He was. Too happy. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Show us your knickers. Professor Crump? Professor Crump? Yes? You were talking in your sleep. Oh, I was. Was I? You was. What would I say? You were saying, Darling, let me see your knickers. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, no. I expect what I probably said was, Show us your knicker. Ah, knicker is only one leg, no? No, it's a slang expression, meaning a pound. Expression for money. So you're wanting to know where I'm hiding my money? Uh, yes, that's right, of course. Uh, but in my sleep, of course. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying in my sleep. Then how you know I'm hiding my money in my knickers? Well, I didn't know, but are you? Certainly. It's only safe place on explorations. It depends on what you're exploring. Professor Krampe. Where are you hiding yours? I'm not hiding anything. I keep mine in my trousers. Really? Good morning. Good morning. Are you all right? You look awful. Me and Hernis had a evening out last night. Yes, we heard you coming home. Well, we haven't seen much of you lately. <laughs> We've taken up archaeology. Have you dug anything up? Yes, a couple of Roman soldiers. Two thousand years old. Well, they won't do you much good. Oh, I don't know. They look better than you do now. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Fred. Fred. Oh, goodbye. See you later. Fred. Could I speak to Mr. O'Sullivan, please? Barnes, get rid of that. Right. Ooh. Dear, oh dear, you have made ash of them. <laughs> it's your gardener, mate. He's had the colour change five times. You want to get that lot off, mate, and start again? You get it off. We ain't got any paint stripper. Ask him to get you some. You ask him. Right. We want a girl singer for the cabaret. Yeah, it's a bad line. Stop that hammering. Hello. It's about them chairs. Barnes, please. I'm on long distance. It'll all have to come off. Barnes. I'm talking to a theatrical agent. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry about that. Where was I? We need a stripper. We need a stripper. Barnes. What are you going on about? We need a paint stripper for them chairs. Well, you can't have any. Now get out of it. Oh, I'm desperately sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, you've got just a girl. Oh, jolly good. I'll leave it all to you, sir. Huh? Veronica. Yeah. As long as she can get here by eight, you know. Right? Goodbye. <laughs> Make sure you don't speak a stone. Right. Steady. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're doing very well. That's very good, Clive. Thank you, sir. Creep. Yes, carry on scraping. <laughs> what do you make of it? It's old Roman tool. Must have been a very old Roman. <laughs> Just to remind you that the clubhouse will be opened in one hour from now. Thank you. Ah, Barnes. You'd better go and smarten yourself up, haven't you? If you're serving behind the bar. What's that? It's a telegram. Oh. <laughs> uh, can't stand Health Farm. Arriving tonight, Sylvia and Vera. Look, I don't know any Sylvia and Vera. That's because it's not for you. Well, why the hell didn't you say so? You didn't give me a chance. Oh. I come in here so you could announce it over that thing. No, you. <laughs> this is Major Speed leaking. Speaking. And here is another announcement. Go on, eat it one with your shovel.
<laughs> what is it? It's fly spray. <laughs> fly spray? Yes. <laughs> Some local talent going past. Coming. I got a feeling I am going to be all right tonight. I have as well. Darling. Don't do that. Mummy wouldn't like it. Mummy's not going to get it. You don't mean that. I mean, she might come in. Where is she? She went for a shower. Reggie! Just come in. Hello, darling. Show us your knickers. There's a man in here. Hello, darling. It's a minor bird. What? Lost one. Is it yours? That stuff. Mine would never say things like that. I can't go into the ladies' showers. There's a man in there already. Yes, but he might attack someone. You're right, me. Oh. oh. All right, ladies. Where is he? Uh, yes, sir. Well, where's Bob? Somebody said he'd fainted. Fainted? Where? In the showers. Oh, uh, uh, too much for him, I suppose. A lady took him back to his caravan. Thanks, Dad. How's your pudding? How's my what? Your pudding, your, your steak and kidney pudding. No one can do it like you can. I haven't done it for years. Why not? Well, nobody but you ever liked it. Oh. What are you doing down here anyway? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm working. What as? I'm an odd job man. Odd job man? Oh, really, Henry? That, don't get on to me. Look, Henry, if you need a few quid. Oh, no, no. No, it's not that. that. I've been living rough, saving money. I've been saving. Saving? You? Don't, don't say anything. Wait. Don't wait. Here. Yeah. Have a look at my bank book. Yeah. £20,000? Yep. I don't believe it. I don't write it down if you don't put it in. Where did you get it? I saved it. What, as an odd job, man? Yep. You must have been doing some very odd jobs. I've been scrimping and saving for ten years. And then last year... Yes? I won the football pools. How much? 19,950 quid. You're joking! It's all yours, Daph, if you want it. Every penny of it. Henry, I, I don't know what to say. No one else is, sir. Well, no, but... Oh, Dad. Come back to me, Dad. I'll smart myself up. I'll try and be a good husband. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Henry, th this, is, this is all so sudden. I'll, I'll have to have time to think. <laughs> Um, uh, would you care to dance, then? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, ah. oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, then? Uh, no, I, uh, I can't do it anymore. Do what? Dance. Oh. Well, that's all right, then. <laughs> so I think we should be concentrating on opening first excavation, no? Well, I don't know, because no, after all... No. First, we will be opening house where soldiers are coming for women. Yes. Ah, I suppose you know by now what we've been doing in that field. I'm afraid it's no concern of mine. I'm a civilian. I'm also married. 
I don't understand why a dog can't sleep outside the caravan. Oh, Joe, that's not fair. Last night he tried to get into bed with us. He could cause havoc in bed with his bone. No, he gets lonely. I don't care if he does get lonely. He's not getting in bed with us. He wanders about in the night. Who's talking? I'm the cabaret. Sorry I'm late. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry, please. I'm glad you could make it. I was a bit worried about your music, you see. We have a piano, of course. I brought it with me on tape. Oh, really? What do you sing? Oh, I don't sing. You don't? No, I'm a uh, dancer. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure you'll go down well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please may I have your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It's cabaret time. Ready when you are. She's doing a striptease. Looks like it. Damn it. That's not what I ordered. What is Lady doing? I, it's a kind of dance. It's very peculiar. In my country, we don't have dance like this. No, you have mixed bathing instead. But Lady is not taking bath. I hope she doesn't go too far. Showing her knickers in public, no? Yes, yes, I agree. So, we are leaving. <laughs> oh! I can't stand up. Well, I told you you should have worn him. <laughs> It's an orgy. I shall have my license taken away. Oh, oh, cheers. Bottom it up. <laughs> I shall get to the bottom of this. I feel a complete ass. Oh, it's coming on to rain. Oh. We all can't get in there. It's all right. We can go in that caravan. Is it yours? No, but they won't mind. Hey, no. Let's go down old man, man. What? Yeah. Hey. You better be quick. It's going to rain any minute. 
it's all right. We haven't come to disturb you. Come in, lads. Hey, yes. Bring yourselves at home. <laughs> Sit yourself down. Ernest, the drinks. Get on with it. Here. Oh. Have a look at this. Well, lay it on the table so I can see it. Right. Oh, you've got two. Yeah. <laughs> two aces and three kings. It's a full house. Well, I... Have. Oh, oh, don't go. No, give us a kiss. Now, don't start that again. I've told you I haven't decided yet. Well, give us a kiss and then decide. No, now deal the cards. Arthur, I don't know where Mummy can have got to. Perhaps some fella picked her up. Don't be so coarse. All right. Perhaps she picked up some fella. Ow! So as you're right. Like it so much. Why did you come up this end? Professor, you're making invitation, no? No, I meant you come up this end and I'll come up your end. No, no. It's nicer this end. Nice to have him back. I, I missed him, you know. Me too. Just like we used to. Well, I must go. No, no. no yes, no, I no, must. No. Yes. yes. I'm just going. Oh, it's no rush. It's no rush. Oh, 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 oh no, no. It's no rush. It's no rush. No. no. Oh. What's happening? It's them holes. They warned us. The old caravan side's riddled with big holes. Well, we seem to be all right. Better check, though. Ernest? You all right? Yes. I don't think there's any holes round here. No! Oh! What's the matter? No! Where are they? Where are they? Oh, Barnes, you are coming back. Yes, I may do, Major. When? And next year, on our holidays. Uh, come again. <laughs> oh, how do you do? Oh, uh, a couple of birds we picked up. Oh. I think we're going to be all right with these oh. two. <laughs> 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 Isn't it exciting? <laughs> yes. So that is what they're calling having it off, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah not so loud. 
But put your piece in. Oh, ah, yeah. oh no, it's rude. Oh, oh what a beauty. <laughs> Thank you very much for your lovely gift. Oh, that's all right. It was nothing. I can't think why she sold him. Get stuffed. <laughs> Show us your knickers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, some mess in a bell.